Well, for many years now, you've seen Rod Parsley daily here on Daystar. His program can be seen Monday through Friday from 6.30 a.m. to 7 a.m. Eastern Time. He is the founder of World Harvest Church in Columbus, Ohio, a church of thousands of people. Uh, his television ministry, Breakthrough, has blessed untold millions around the world. One of the greatest preachers in the world today and has ex an experienced an absolute miracle of healing of cancer. Please welcome our friend, Pastor Rod Parsley. So good to see you. Well done, man. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you, John. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, your beautiful Ashton, she was at the wedding, oh. and I told her I love all of her hair colors, yeah. <laughs> but I like the one that she currently is in, and I just said, it goes so good with your complexion, your skin tone, and she just smiled. She's she, always such a gracious, sweet she girl. She told me that uh, when yeah. she came home. She said, uh, because I had told her just before she came, I said, now I like your hair a little lighter. <laughs> and so when she came home, she said, Marcus liked it. It's staying. I said, well, oh, it looked great. None of, none of them stay for more than three or four days, it seems. Well, to you there. know, a woman's prerogative <laughs> is to change her mind. Yes. Well, the so even about hair color. Oh, my goodness. So beautiful. Thank and you. I just wept and wept and wept because several years ago, <clears throat> excuse me, Jonathan uh, and Susie hadn't been married very long. And we were upstairs talking, and the Holy Spirit really spoke to me about praying for Rachel and Rebecca and for their future husbands. And so whenever I prayed for Ashton and Austin and their spouses, I always, so sweet. always, Aww. twice a day, so kind. prayed for those beautiful daughters of yours and what wonderful husbands the yeah. Holy Spirit brought Amen. the Lord has I'm, been faithful. I'm so thankful, Marcus, because they have such a calling on their lives. They do. All three of your children and this great legacy and, and how beautifully they're woven now into the fabric of Daystar reaching the whole wide world with the gospel. And that's, so proud of them. And that's why you and your Joni mm -hmm. can have the same confidence yeah. about the faithfulness of God yeah. in the spouses for Ashton and Austin. I believe And I want to know, how are you even going to make it down the aisle when you no. walk her down the aisle? No, how will well, you even survive? When they showed the video of <laughs> you walking <laughs> Rebecca down the aisle, I just turned away. I, I said, okay, I'm ready for the husband, I think, but I'm not ready for that walk yet. So the Holy Spirit is going to have to work with me. Yeah, and then that <clears> part <throat> when they say, who gives this yeah. woman? Who came up with that? I mean, you don't want to give her away. Yeah. So I told Pastor Jimmy Evans, I said, I'm not giving her away. I will share her oh with my. Jonathan. So oh that was our my. deal. All right, well, we've got a video that tells you more about Breakthrough. Oh. As again, you see it Monday through Friday, 6.30 to 7 a.m. Eastern Time. Let's go and see a clip from the Breakthrough broadcast. Mm. Today is your suddenly. Yes. Yes. You came today to be healed. Stage four cancer. The fear is going to leave you today. Because yes. 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 the fear is what's trying to kill you. The cancer never will. We shall right now. Say today, today, I, I receive, receive gifts, gifts of, the Holy Spirit. of the Holy Spirit. Tongues, Tongues. now shout that heavenly language. <laughs> speak it. This man just speak it. Well, it's powerful. And that is the thing that marks Pastor Rod Parsley. It's not that he is such a great expositor of the Word of God, which he is, so eloquent. He's got one of the most complete vocabularies, him and Bishop T.D. Jakes. But the anointing that comes through in such an incredible way. 
know, we were talking about your uh, sons and your son and daughter, and recently uh, you went through, you and your Joni went through a, a most difficult time with, with Austin. He's already <laughs> a miracle. He I is. mean, he's an absolute miracle he of is. God, and that has been well chronicled. But what happened a few months ago? Well, he was at his job, which he absolutely loves. You know, this is a <clears throat> this is a young man now, twenty six years of age, that the doctor said would never read a book, would never go to school, mm. would never know that I was his father, or distinguish between Joni and me. And they said, you know, most parents in this situation would put him in an institution and wow. do their best to forget that he'd been born. That would be better for him. My goodness. <clears throat> and they said, this is incurable. There's no hope, no treatment, and no cure. And I said, well, when you say no hope, now treatment and cure, that's in the doctor's realm. But hope, that belongs to Jesus. Yes. Our hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and his righteousness. So we dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean. On Jesus' Hallelujah. name, and Joni and I did that. He graduated high school with a 4.2 GPA. Wow. He graduated from Valor Christian College with a 4.0 GPA. Amazing. And uh, he, so he has a job. That's higher than I graduated. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> we just had two graduations, Valor Christian College and Harvest Preparatory School. And I always tell him, you know, some graduate summa cum laude and others magna cum laude. And I graduated in the part, thank you, laude. Yeah. So, <laughs> I was glad to get out. And, and they were glad for me to go, I think. So yeah, Austin was at his job in downtown Columbus. And uh, he wanted to walk uh, to another uh, gaming store, which he loves. And he was in the crosswalk. He had the light. And a city bus driver didn't see him oh my. and hit him without ever hitting their brakes in a city bus. On a, you know, he was hit by a city bus. It threw him up in the air, and his head hit the windshield and shattered the whole windshield, and oh there he lay goodness. on the, in the streets of Columbus, you know? And God, God is so good. You have to pray, y'all. You have to pray. Yes. The protective covering of God and those legions of ministering spirits around our children, around each other, around those that we love. And so they called Joni and got a hold of Joni. Uh, they didn't get me first. They got Joni. And all the information they had was that he had been struck by a vehicle in downtown Columbus and was being transported to the hospital. So uh, she, she, we all got there as a family. And the doctor came out and the, and the administrator of the hospital, of course, they knew me, and they said, uh, we need the Parsley family to be escorted to the family room. Well, I know what happens in the family room. And when I walked through the door, I said to the officer there who recognized me, he, he said, Pastor, we're praying. And I said, well, what happened? Well, he was struck by a vehicle. And they said, no, Pastor, he was hit by a city bus. Now the administrator comes and says, go to the family room. And there's no way in the natural to hearing that that you think he's going to survive. No, absolutely not. In fact, another young lady was hit in a very similar circumstance that day in our city. And she was pronounced dead at the scene. Oh, my goodness. So, you know, Joni is grabbing a hold of Faith and me, and I'm grabbing a hold of her. And suddenly the doctor came out and said, Reverend Parsley, Mr. Parsley, you can see your son. So I think they have some pictures of yeah. him. There is where we found him. And uh, he spent one night in the hospital, was released the next day, and only had a broken clavicle. Unbelievable. So how be Unbelievable. There he is the next morning. Unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. Not only that he survived. Right. But he's only in the hospital one night. One and night. And then he's sitting up smiling. Yes. That's just remarkable. Now then Miss Joni, of course, she let him know that he would need a lot of care. So <laughs> I think he stayed off work, I don't know, six months or something. <laughs> and she brought him his food all the time because she likes to baby him a little bit too oh, much. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, he's back to work doing great. Well, Pastor Rod, That's awesome. we would be remiss if we didn't go back in time and 
revisit what God did for you. Yeah. Many people know, but some don't. Right. And when you hear that word cancer, yeah. it's such a diabolical word, yeah. and it strikes fear in the heart of most people who hear it, especially when it's pronounced by a doctor. Yeah, and right before um, Pastor Rod shares that, I know there are some of you that are dealing with a sickness in your body yeah. and you really need a miracle. Amen. I want you to go to the phone right now yes. and call and, and just give us your first name. And or thank. you're concerned about your children and yeah. their safety that's and well being. That's true. Or a family member that you know that's struggling. There's someone close to you. So go to the phone now and call because we're going to pray at the end of the program for, I just believe the Lord's going to touch yeah. people today. Jeez. There will be Very a special good, anointing John. when Pastor Rod shares this. So go to the phone yeah. right now and get your prayer request in or either go to daystar.com and Click on prayer and send it in that way. Amen. Okay. This is a few years to go. Yes. Actually, I'm coming up on three years since uh, the diagnosis. Uh, I was at Vanderbilt University. I, I, just, I just had a sore throat, which for preachers is pretty common, you know. I uh, just had a sore throat and just seemed to not go away. And so I... I Talk to Joni. I talked to my doctor. He did an examination. She said, well, you, you've got something there. We'll just go in and surgically remove it. And Miss Joni said, well, wait just a minute. Uh, she's so prophetic, so quiet, like great still waters. Mm -hmm. But when push comes to shove, I don't know anyone that knows God in a deeper way wow. than, than my wife Joni. And she pulled out something she had written over a year before that said, your husband's going to be diagnosed with cancer. Don't let them operate. Wow. Yes. And I said, well, all right. I, I don't know what else to do. She said, well, you need to go for another opinion. So in so, other words, like the commercial of old, when E.F. Hutton speaks, speaks. <laughs> people listen. Yeah. So when Joni Parsley speaks, yes. Rod Parsley listens. Well, especially oh. when she says she felt like the Lord chose yeah, her. Yeah, and wrote it down. Yeah. Isn't that something that oh, I said? That's incredible. Now, what you could have done, honey, is you could have let me know about it. <laughs> you know? But she said I was praying. And so, so, yeah, so we had other examinations, and I was at Vanderbilt University getting ready to see a world-renowned surgeon there and, and uh, got a call on the last test, and they said, this is squamous cell carcinoma. And when I heard that word, of course, everything goes black for a minute. Mm. Uh, you're like, is this real life? Uh, I've seen hundreds, if not thousands of people healed of cancer, just like that man on the video. And, but now it's me. Now it's me. And you all need to understand, sometimes we lift men and women of God so high uh, and we shouldn't do that. You know, we put our clothes on, as my daddy would say, one leg at a time, just like all yes. of you. That's right. And we're, we're not anointed to live this. We're anointed to preach it. So we, we have to get a hold of God the same way you do. So and true. so we got a hold of God. And uh, three months later, uh, I was declared cancer free. Wow. And have been cancer free since then, and I'm coming up on my my three year anniversary. Yeah. Where wow. it, that's a big one, you know. Amen. But these none of these afflictions. That's a word for you today. None of these afflictions shall arise a second time. Tudor Bismarck pointed his finger at me at a Dominion camp meeting. And for a year, he had put my picture up before all those people in Africa and had them praying for me wow. all day long. And I didn't even and know. And Africans know how to pray. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. And I'm coming to Africa in Jesus' name. I'm coming to Ghana, and I'm coming to Nigeria, and I'm coming to Kenya in Jesus' name. Okay. All, and all the folks connected to Kenya said yes. Well, one of the most incredible camp meetings that is held anywhere in the world mm. is Dominion Camp Meeting. Mm -hmm. I've been privileged to attend. Uh, we've shown it on Daystar. It is always so power packed and it's coming up in just a few weeks. And we've got a clip that tells you more about it, how you can get involved with Dominion Camp Meeting. 
We're taking our town back and our city back. We're taking our churches back and our children back. We're taking our anointing back and our authority back. Not our will, God, but your will be done. My faith is not in the natural. My faith is in the supernatural. I don't care who gave a false prophecy of doom. It will not work. So either way, devil, you're shafted because God will find a way to bless me. The church is about to stand up and shine the glory of the risen Christ like we've never shined before. I'm the God of everything. I'm the God of more than enough. I can do whatever I want to do because I'm the King of kings and the Lord of lords. It wouldn't take faith to praise him when it happened. It wouldn't take faith to praise him when I felt it. Right here, right now, God is in this moment. This is still a Holy Ghost camp meeting. You get set free up in here. Okay, so is everybody invited? <laughs> yes, and we want you to come back. <laughs> well, good. How <laughs> much? Yes, we want you to come back. All right, so June the 29th, yep. 30th, there's no 31. And first. So, and the first. Okay. Yeah, Friday yeah. night, Saturday night, all day Saturday, all day Sunday. All right, now you have written 70 more books than I have. <laughs> so, uh, and the most recent one, the finale. Oh, my. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, he's coming, you know. So I did, that's, a, that's the end book of a trilogy. I did The Cross, One Man, One Tree, One Friday. I did uh, Gone, One Man, One Tomb, One Sunday. And then I said, well, I might as well finish the whole thing. So we called it the finale because he is coming, you know. Yes. And uh, I'm just, Marcus and Joni, God has just touched me Praise with you. a new anointing. Mm. When, I, when I came through that and I, and I hit 60, God spoke to me and he said, here's what I want you to do. And he made it so clear and so plain. So I'm wearing a new anointing wow. that I'm so thankful for. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm more comfortable than I have ever been in over 40 years of, of pastoring. Thank God. And uh, I'm being released to go back out on the road again and to the nations of the world again. Because God said we, there, so th there's much to be gained I return to the discarded values of the past. Uh, I, I want to preach and bring the world messages like, you must be born again. We've forgotten these hallmark messages of the yes. church. Yeah. And I think we're, we're not what we should be as a result of it. And, and one of those messages, of course, we just came through Pentecost, these, these doctrines of the church, uh, their application can never be exhausted, and, and their consideration should never be out of place. That's and awesome. so I want to bring those doctrines back, win souls and plant churches. Oh. Now, before July of last year, uh, our ministry had planted four churches in 40 years which I thought was a good thing. Yeah. Then I found out 80% of the people born again in churches in America are born again in a church two years old or less. And I said, well, if we're wow. going to win souls, then what we need to do is plant more churches. So four churches in 40 years. Since last July, Marcus and Joni, we have planted 100 and 29 churches wow. in America and around the world, wow. including 19 in Pakistan, mm, headed fantastic. up by a Valor Christian College graduate. And so I'm so excited to let the world know that you can still be born again. This is not a decision. We're talking about a conversion. Yeah. A decision is what you make when you go to McDonald's and you choose a Big Mac or a quarter pounder. Yes. A conversion is what happens when God, by His yes. Holy Spirit, makes you a new creature that the world and the devil have never had to deal with yes. before. So, and then the mighty baptism in the Holy Spirit, with all its giftings, with all of its graces, and then Jesus is surely coming again. So that's what we're preaching. All right. Well, this Sunday... In West Monroe, Louisiana, yes. I'll be at the assembly, and I'm going to preach on the breakthrough anointing. So I probably need to ask Pastor Rod some pointers <laughs> after this program, because he certainly is an expert on that subject. If you need prayer, call the number 
that's on the screen today. I'm about to hand these to Pastor Rod Parsley. Thousands of people have tried to get through. And you know, in Pakistan, millions of people see Daystar. So that yes. means they're seeing you, Pastor Rod, yeah. every day there yeah. in Pakistan. Would you lead us in prayer yes. as we close today? Father, first of all, thank you for Marcus and Joni. Thank you for the great Daystar Network. Thank, Thank you, you for Father these God. three beautiful Hallelujah. children and their beautiful spouses. Thank, Thank you, you for the anointing that rests upon it. Now, Lord, we come into agreement, for we know that whithersoever two or three are gathered together in your name, there yes, you are Lord. in the midst of them. Reach out now by the power of the Holy Spirit for Anthony and Carlene and for Aurora you, and Lord. all Thank these, you, Lord, Lord who have Lord. reached out. Let your mighty healing, powerful deliverance ministry come to them. Let salvation come to every one who Thank reaches you, out for it today Hallelujah. around the world. From Pakistan to Pennsylvania, we yes. believe you, Lord. Yes, Touch God. everyone in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Pastor Ra, we've got just less than a minute. Is there, other than Dominion Camp Meeting, is there anything else you want to uh, invite people to or tell them about our wonderful I, I just want you to know that every Sunday, right there in, Wor in World Harvest Church and our campuses, you have to go online to find out where they all are. But you can be a part of a miracle. We love you. Stay tuned to Daystar, how we need it. Support it. Strengthen it in Jesus. Wonderful. And name. if they're looking for a great spirit filled college, then oh. Valor. <laughs> You're so good, Marcus. Valor Christian College, fully regionally and nationally accredited wow. financial, f federal financial aid wow. available. Over 80% of our students, the government's paying for them to be there. Check it out. Fantastic. ValorCollege.edu. We love you. We'll see you again right here on Daystar.